Hi guys, Pez Universe, Bibi here. Um, I'm filling in for Barry today, uh, as he is not here. I've got with me the main man himself. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Asim Tanvi. I'm the Konami Europe online social media manager. Perfect. Well, I don't know if I've introduced myself yet. Yeah, Again, I am Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I know who you are. I know who you are. Yeah, I'm good. on Twitter. You're on Twitter. <laughs> we all know each other. It's fine. No, so, um, yeah, as I said, I'm filling in for Barry today. Um, I don't know why he's, tried, he's trusted me, but here I am anyway. <laughs> so, I've, obviously, I've got a few questions for yeah. you. Um, PES 17 is out September 13th? September 15th uh, worldwide, so that'll, be, that'll cover Europe, yeah. Perfect. So, um, basically, the first question, then, what do you feel is... The biggest difference between 16 and 17? The biggest difference between 16 and 17, um, I think the pace of the game. Uh, that's one of the key things. I think one of the criticisms, if you have it, but that was levied at 2016 was that it was a bit too quick, a bit too maybe arcadey quotation yeah, marks. Um, and, you know, we've listened to fans, which uh, some people say we don't do, but we've listened to fans and we've slowed the pace down. Uh, and Made it a bit more free now. I think w when you play it, you'll kind of feel that uh, the passing feels a bit more freer. The shooting feels a bit, there's a bit more freedom in the way mm. you can place the ball. So you can actually miss shots now. I, I guess this is which what some people have said in their impressions. Yeah. Um, so it, I think overall, yeah, the pace of the game is key because it slows it down to that, I guess, realistic pace. Mm. Um, and the weight as well. There's a, there's a weighty feel to the players that like each player now completely I guess feels feels different. Mm. Uh, we've had obviously the player ID previously as well. And we've kind of had we we had that in 2016 as well. And I still don't think 2016 is as bad as game as some people make it out yeah. to be. I, I don't. I honestly don't think it's yeah. as bad as people make it out as well. It's uh, for me. I'm a massive like master league player. Yeah. I play master league and become a legend. I play in my club occasionally, but I usually play um, online with my mm -hmm. friends. I don't. I don't take it online, but I have a, the, the, a lot of people saying, oh, it's just long balls and stuff yeah. like that. Exploits and whatnot. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, that's in every single game. We're not going to mention the F word, but that, <laughs> that literally happens in every single game. People yeah. will find a way to break the game. Yeah. Um, I think one of, the, one of the examples that I used to use when I was doing stuff with WNB was um, that uh, a relationship with a sports game is kind of like uh, you know, a relationship with your missus. It's mm. like you... You know, you, sp you you spend a lot of time with the person. You'll 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 get annoyed by certain things, but at the end of the day, you still love her. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, 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 or him. <laughs> you know? um, and that's that's kind of the comparison I always use. Uh, the more you play uh, a, a sports game, it's like you know, especially a yearly sports game, uh, you'll you'll kind of notice things that frustrate you, especially when you I guess you're losing. You'll those, those things are kind of heightened a bit. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, just going back to what we we're talking about, 2017. I think yeah, uh, the weight, the pace of the game. Bit more realistic, slow it down a bit. You can, you know, you can play. Uh, you know, the advanced instructions allow you to play Barca's tiki taka style. Mm. Allow you to play as athletic, kind of rough, gritty style. A bit more defensive, but you know, on the break, dangerous. Yeah. Uh, France using wingers, using Griezmann, Martial, or Payet. Um, you can, you know, the, that that it's more emphasized than yeah, 2016. Yeah. Uh, I think those are the, those are the key things that stand out for me uh, in 2017. I think. Hopefully that's what people notice when they play today. Yeah. So obviously I've had a, I've, I've had a game so far, yeah. and I'll, when I finish this, I'm obviously going to go down and play it again. But so far I've thoroughly enjoyed what I played it. If, if for me, it feels completely different from the last one. Um, but obviously you played it a lot more than I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you feel is going to be the standout feature for this game? I think one of the features that I I talk about a lot is the advanced instructions. I think people are probably tired of me talking about mm. it now. Um, it's one of my favorite features of the game because it allows you to uh, emphasize uh, certain teams' playing styles. Again, I'll use Barcelona as, as, as an example. Uh, you've got the tiki taka option as, as one of the attacking mm. options. You can turn it on and off on the fly if you want. That's totally up to you. Um, and then defensive options, you've got like uh, Klopp's game and press style. So you can press, you know, kind of high press. Uh, there is a kind of a risk and reward feeling to mm. that. If you press too much, your players will lose their stamina quicker. So you, yeah, you so you have to turn it on and off, and then you can kind of you can go go park the bus. You can be quite defensive if you want to be again on the fly, uh, and then if you if you combine that with the total team control we've got, uh, double tapping the D pad up and down, yeah. you can move up attacking level, move down a defensive level. So if you're one nil up with Atletico, and then you've got a jammy goal, and you, you know you're <laughs> one nil up against Barcelona, and there's like ten minutes to go, you might decide wait a second, this guy's all over me, I'm gonna go defensive. Or, or, or might even go super defensive, and it might work out. You'll just grind out that one with yeah. one level result, and that will be 
even more apparent when you play Master League against the AI. If you're, if you're playing as a smaller team in Master League, the, this stuff is, is so key. Uh, so total, co uh, total control combined with the advanced instructions, beautiful. Uh, I think they're working, will work well, work so well together. Uh, and if you're playing 2070 for the first time, that's what I'd recommend kind of checking out. And then you have the other stuff like the, the goalkeepers are so much, so much better. Uh, we've, we, you know, new animations. Uh, the way they, the way they dive is, you know, we've got so many different animations for that. Um, and they, I think, again, one of the things with 2016 was keepers were easily beaten in one on ones. Now, when you're through one on one, it's no longer a guaranteed goal. Mm. The keeper will, if it's Neuer, will make himself big. He'll come rushing out. Check will kind of maybe stand his ground a bit more, but you know, he'll he'll kind of move towards where the ball's going. And, you know, try to make mm. that save as best as possible. You might not get it all the time, but if he does get there, there'll be a save page. Um, so yeah, it's not a guaranteed goal every time, and they'll make some stunning saves. Like you'll, we've had some, again, some games in the office mm. when we're here late night playing some games in the office. We've had some like incredible moments. Like how the hell do you save that? Oh, and you'll have those moments. As I was coming upstairs, um, I seen Badinsky playing against. I, I think it might have even been sick pattern and, yeah. um, on a corner. Like on at the moment in in the sixteen version, when you get a corner, if you put it into the right position, chances yeah. are. It's going to hit the back of the net, but it looks like that was going to happen again. Yeah. But yeah. as the ball was just about to go over, keeper came out probably. Unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, we, all of us were just yeah, stood yeah, there. Was yeah. like, wow. Like, yeah. Was, how was he actually just? You'll have a lot of those moments. Not only with the keepers, with with some of the stuff the AI does against you as well. Again, we've got uh, which we announced that E3 was the uh, was, was the adaptive AI. Uh, when, again, if you play Master League a lot, that's gonna. That's going to be huge. That, that's almost like a, it's a huge game-changing feature. Mm. That uh, if you if you play a certain way, the AI will realize you're playing that way, and they kind of they kind of stop the channels if you're playing on the wing, or if you're going down the center looking for quick passes, they'll kind of maybe maybe put more players around the area. It's yeah, there's so many features, but like I said, the, the main ones for me, the advanced instructions combined with the total team control. Uh, I'm a huge fan of those. Yeah. I think the, our team in Japan has done amazingly well with those. Well, uh, before we obviously we came in, uh, me and Lily had a, a chat at the play styles that we are because everybody has a different play style. Yeah. Whether or not the the counter attacking, whether or not they like to build or play, whether or not they like to just long ball it. Mm. And me and Lily are both. We both say we're, we're quite the same in that respect. We like to build the play up. Yeah. Uh, we like to just have an exhibition football. We'll call it. Yeah. Um, and as as I explained to you uh, earlier. Um, myself, I like to keep the ball, make passes, get the one two, wait for yeah, the player yeah. to do the run, and that in seventeen is just it is possible. I put together like sixteen, seventeen passes, um, and across the balance as you route, and he just nodded it down into the bottom corner. It was like it, it was feels realistic. great. It feels it great, and it, it's, it's not overpowered in a sense. It yeah. feels it feels realistic enough, right? I think yeah, that's that, that's that's key. It just, it just it all feels great. Like for instance, like you're saying, you're a exhibition style mm. player. I uh, I like to use wingers, so wingers are my thing. So I four three three. I use pace on the wings and kind of uh, what with the tactics I use. I kind of hug the touch lines with mm. the with the two wingers, and then use one of them, the pacier one, as a as a counter target. So he always stays forward, doesn't move, and then kind of defend not deep, but I, I, I like to kind of soak up the pressure and then hit on the break. That's mm. that, that's my style. Yeah, uh, and it works. Like if you have all different styles, it works. Like you can use these advanced instructions and your play styles to kind of play how you want in 2017. Mm. If you want to slow down the pace and just pass around the back, you can do that. Uh, also as well, there's a, there's a couple of keywords that people use in the play football games. Now, there's only so much you can do in a football game. It's, yeah. not, it's <laughs> not as if you're just going to get a ball and just go on the field and it's going to be exactly <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, now, the yeah. two words that people use is authenticity and yeah. realism. realism. Yeah. Now, for me, again, I'm not just saying this because I'm here today. Literally, like as I'm playing the game, it just fit. the pace is just... It's it's there for you yeah. can as I said you can control it however you want. You can yeah. now, obviously between sixteen and seventeen, there's always going to be that comparison between them, and it's it's going to be exactly the same again with the F word uh, <laughs> that we're not going to go into again. The people are always going to compare the two. Yeah. What do you think is going to be the massive difference? Because I, I for, for me, I don't like it when people say I don't want to play that game because they've not got licensed teams. Yeah. Uh, that's it. that's a ridiculous way for someone not to play the game just because of that reason. Yeah. For me, the gameplay has. I mean, I buy both every single year, mm -hmm. but when I go to play online on FIFA, it's because I play with my friends in some of the game modes on there. Now, but with pets, the gameplay is completely different, and it's it is just a lot easier to. It's not a pick up and play game. You can anybody can play pets, but to actually be able to beat the best players is a completely. It's just. It's yeah. a lot harder. Yeah. I think uh, 
completely completely agree there. I think with Pez, especially 2017 now, uh, I think it's kind of we've gone back to that kind of uh, almost not I want to say PS2 mentality. Uh, people always compare to the PS2 days mm. and whatnot, but I think you know we need to we need to, we need to uh, as our tagline was love the past, and play the future. Yeah, yeah. Not to be cheesy, but that, <laughs> that, that, that kind of does ring true. But I think with now it's kind of it's easy to pick up and play. You can you know get the grasp of it, but it's hard to master. That, that that's the depth is there, as as you kind of pointed mm. out there, and what you were saying. The depth is there to the gameplay, uh, and that's 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 kind of our thing. I mean. Uh, gameplay is always going to be king for us. Mm. Uh, our vision is, you know, kind of gameplay first, uh, and then you know, kind of build features around it. Um, and you know, we we have these you know, uh, slowly improving modes, and we'll we'll talk more about modes at Gamescom. That's usually mm. where we talk about modes and stuff like that. But our our vision is always gameplay first, uh, and, and you know, we're we're trying to do our best with licenses. Uh, mm. The FC Barcelona one, yeah, uh, the announcement, it's unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, it's unbelievable for us as well yeah. to work with such a such a great club. Uh, I think it's kind of a perfect match, you know, well-respected club, top players, kind of that's that's you know that style of football, kind of a perfect match for Pez. Uh, going forward, we'll be we'll be doing a lot more stuff with them, as you've probably seen today. You've yeah. seen some secret stuff today, yeah, uh, which we'll be we'll be announcing at a later date. Our fans, it's, mm. it's going to be we got a clap from the, our, our fans. These, these guys <laughs> yeah, gave us a big, clap. It was when a we big clap. It. it was unbelievable. I mean. Like, we'll, we'll just sit quickly, we'll just round this up. But like yeah. you're saying, we're going back to the PS2 days. Obviously, the graphics are completely different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but looking at the play faces that you've got replicated in here. Now, I've seen screenshots of the competitor mm-hmm. game today, and I couldn't help but laugh out loud because the gameplay trailer yeah. um, and then the gameplay uh, that people have been recording of the other game. Yep. Yeah. I've obviously seen the trailer today and played the game and you can't tell the difference but the other game the face scans yeah. are all for the trailer but this one honest to god you are it's unbelievable what you are going to see He said it not me so honest you can believe god, him Honest to god it <laughs> if is I said something I'll be full by it No so no I know I'm not just saying that honest I said this before I'm not just saying that because of me but it yeah. is unreal uh, I'm just, it's going to be unbelievable Good I'm glad you're excited I'm glad everyone's everyone seems like enjoying it um yeah well, go down and play more. You only had one game. No, Let's go play that's more. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. No, pleasure, today, mate. Pleasure. Thank Completely you very pleasure. much. Enjoy. Uh, don't forget to uh, come over and just follow Kanama UK, uh, Graham Day, official, my man. Official Pez. Official Pez. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Adam Batty as well. Adam Batty as well. Yeah. yeah. He's 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 the main man. He works so. I just want to just the last word. He's he's he for me. He's an inspiration coming into the company. He came from the same place. You know, you are now in the Pez community. I've I've come from that place, and to work here is completely like to work with him is 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 even better. It's just it's it's a passion. We 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 love what we do. Um, and just to say, just one final thing that we do listen to you guys. Um, you know, so, some things can't be put in instantly. Well, uh, it uh, takes time, but I'll we do be, listen. Oh yeah, uh, that, that, that very quickly. That's the one thing that does wind me up when I see people uh, on just hating. It's just like a hate mob. It's easy to hate something. Like you'll always get cod players like slagging yeah. off battle. It's just easy to do. But believe me when I say this, that whatever the feedback has been, it's been put in this game. Honest to God, is there's no way to ways about it. But again, no, thank you, cheers, mate. Thank, thank you very, very much for that. Cheers. Catch you in a bit. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, big thanks to Asim for letting me actually spend some time with him and ask him the questions that personally is um, it's sort of stuff that I just wanted to get out of there. Um, just to compare them, both the games, 16 and 17, they just, when you play it, you'll understand. It just feels completely different. But again, thank you very much, Asim. Um, and thank you very much to Konami, obviously, for letting us uh, go there for the day. Um, and just it basically just spoiled us um, with what it was that it was actually able to give us. Um, but the reason I'm making this outro video, obviously, it was just going to be the um, the interview. But this is like some of the biggest news um, that's possibly going to come out. Um, everyone's going to be putting these videos up at the same time, so it's better just to put them all in one video so you get the full experience from what Pez Universe actually did that day. So just going back to the interview that I've just had with Asim, he mentioned something about face scans. Um, being like um, just remodeled from absolutely nothing, so they're obviously getting the uh, the wireframe, the face, and then building them up from there. Now, as you well know, Konami do now actually have the partnership with Barcelona, and because of that, they actually own the rights to a lot of the players that used to play for them. Uh, obviously, the players own some of the rights, but they, I think, they're more than happy to be able to do this. So, I've got six legends that I can now announce for you. Like, it's unbelievable. The reason why you got this round of applause. 
like you mentioned, was because these players are just phenomenal. Well, they wouldn't have played for Barcelona if there wasn't at the end of the day, would they? So um, I'm, I'm going to reveal these for you now. So you've got, obviously, the, the guy who led them to most of the trophies in the last 10 years. You've got Carlos Puyol is one of the legends that's going to be in the game. That is just, it's just absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, there's another five. So I'm going to... I'm going to talk about this one just a little bit. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it, but they've got Luis Enrique as in there as well. Now, obviously, he is the manager. He's a manager as well now, so it'll be interesting to have him as a manager and as a as a player. But I'll move on to the next one, and uh, it's it's Xavi. You know, another guy who's captained them over the last over the last ten years and guided them to so many more trophies um, than they could have ever possibly expected. Now the next one is possibly one of the greatest players that anybody has ever seen on a football field and it is the king of flair and it is Ronaldinho. Now obviously I don't know if he's even still playing, I've heard he's playing in some sort of six a side league somewhere in the, uh, in the other side of the world and it, it doesn't matter. Uh, a guy like that who's, he, he had some pace but he, he didn't need it, he just, he could just dance around the pitch um, and literally like no one would come near him. Okay, so the next one then is Rivaldo. Now, undoubtedly is one of the most talented players to... I'm sure he was still playing last year. Now, I could be wrong, and I had this conversation in the car, but I'm sure he was still playing last year. Now, he might even still be playing somewhere else. I think he's like 45 now. Um, he may still be playing. Um, but the last one is uh, possibly my favourite announcement of them all. Now, growing up, there's this guy... He was a striker, obviously. Um, it, me stri being a striker when I was growing up as well, it was just sort of the guy. If it wasn't Sean Goat, it was this guy. Now, is he absolutely demolished United in a couple of games. He demolished England. Uh, and he was a Brazil forward. He had the worst haircut that I think I've ever seen on a football pitch. And it is Ronaldo 9. The Ronaldo. Not the, not the Cristiano copy. This guy is like the guy. Um, so, <laughs> for Fat Ronaldo, if you want to call him that, which is an absolute disgusting way of putting him, but <laughs> the Ronaldo, Ronaldo 9, is going to be in the game. Now, with this, the Legends last year wasn't be able to play in the, in the offline mode, but this time we've been assured that if you find these players in the My Club mode, you'll then be able to get them and play with them in the offline mode. So you'll be able to play with them on two different game modes this time instead of just the one. Now, for me, being a Master League fan, it is just phenomenal at the thought that I'm going to be able to put this guy, these players, these sets of players that have just blessed football over the last, shall we say, 25 years, um, throughout this course of my lifetime anyway. Um, it's just unbelievable to be able to play on it physically with these players in the game but yeah that is it guys um again I, i'm gonna thank konami for letting us actually come down there and give us this wonderful presentation um and just let us be part of it it's just so surreal from coming like 15 years ago picking up the ps2 and playing that game it's just now obviously i'm, I'm able to announce things like this at, at the embargo day it's just it's just so surreal. So again, thank you very much, Konami, for letting us come down. Don't forget to like and subscribe, this guys. I'll put all of them. I'll put all of Konami's um, representatives that was there yesterday. Um, <coughs> social media stuff in the descriptions below. Um, so yeah, for, go and follow those. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a bit.